Here we have verse 18 of the seventh chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus has been challenging the religious leaders who are standing there somewhat shocked at the competence, the expertise with which Jesus is teaching in the temple, querying themselves as to where in the world he got such an education. Of course, Jesus, reading their minds, is able to respond to them, saying that the education that he has received certainly didn't come from some human institution, which is what they were expecting would be the case, but rather had come through his intimate connection to the Father, the very Father that he is indeed revealing, as John has said right off the bat in the Gospel, that Jesus is the Word of God, he's the articulation of God's truth, into this world and furthermore he says that if anyone is uh, willing, desiring, truly, sincerely uh, seeking to do the will of God then that person will recognize the truth of Christ. They'll recognize that what he is claiming of himself is true but of course the corollary to that is if they are going to repudiate Christ, if they're going to maintain a hostile disposition toward him then in effect they're blinding themselves. Jesus gives something here that represents more, you might almost say, kind of a, uh, an axiom, sort of a maxim almost in terms of uh, this, but it applies in a particular forceful way to himself as he continues now at verse 18. Ho, this is the definite article, masculine, singular, uh, nominative, the, uh, af, this is from apo, it uh, has the little change there before a rough breather. So the af heau tu, uh, heau tu is the reflexive pronoun, third person uh, singular. And so as we were uh, saying on other occasions, this is a reflexive uh, pronoun. It would use the word self typically. And in the third person, it's going to be himself. So the from himself speaking one. Uh, this is the use of the participle where we have uh, basically the speaking one. Lalon from laleo, I speak. This is the masculine, singular, nominative, present participle. So the speaking from himself one, or the from himself speaking one, and then tain doxin. Tain is the accusative article. Doxin, the feminine uh, noun uh, meaning glory. So seeking, uh, the one speaking from himself, the glory, the ideon, the of himself. <clears throat> this is the possessive pronoun in the third person. So the glory, the of himself, zete, uh, seeks. So really the subject of the sentence is here, this uh, entire statement. Uh, the the uh, speaking from himself one, and then the verb seeks, and then finally the direct object, the glory, the of himself. <clears throat> the one who seeks his own glory, or the one who speaks from himself, is seeking his own glory. Uh, if Jesus were speaking from himself, uh, really reflecting information that he had cooked up on his own, then of course it would be uh, evidence that he was simply seeking to glorify himself. The implication, of course, is that's precisely what these religious leaders customarily did. They didn't speak from the authority of God, but they spoke rather from their own authority, from their own insights. Now, in contrast, uh, ho de zeton, here we have another participle, the seeking. This is the uh, same word as this one, only in this case it's a participle, present. Uh, participle, masculine, singular, nominative, the seeking, tain doxin, the glory, to pimpsontas. This is from pimpo, I send. It's the uh, genitive, singular, masculine, present participle. So the seeking, the glory of the having sent out tone, him, one. So if a person is seeking the glory of the one who commissioned them, who sent them, which of course is true of Jesus, but in principle might be true of any uh, person in a similar situation, then the subject now, nominative, hutos, uh, demonstrative pronoun, this one, aletheis, this is the word uh, for true, this one, uh, true, uh, it estin, this one is true, kai adekia, and uh, Unrighteousness, the word dikaios means righteousness. This is the negation of this unrighteousness in auto. Uh, in that one, in takes the uh, dative here. So in him, ukestin is not. 
the one who seeks the glory of the one who sent him is going to be one who is speaking truly. Uh, he is true, the uh, adjective true, and adikia, unrighteousness, does not find itself in him. Uh, this would be true in principle, I suppose, in any situation in life where a messenger is representing the message delivered to him by the one who sent him. But of course, in the greatest of all possible examples of this, we have it found in the case of Christ, who is not speaking on his own human authority, but is speaking by virtue of the one, as he repeatedly affirms throughout his ministry, the one who sent him. He's giving the truth of the word of God, and hence he can be called the Logos of God. And of course, even more deeply than that, being God himself, he is in a sense becoming that uh, perfect uh, expression of the truth of God in human history, uh, which is what we find recorded and uh, described in the New Testament.